Chapter 191, New and Old Scores, 2. Senior Brother Ning also knows Yi Kington. Zhuk's eyes brightened when he heard the words Senior Brother Ning. This Senior Brother Ning, Ning Luo, was a renowned disciple in the inner sect and doted on by the elder of the inner sect's sword faction. Even in the entire Xuanling sect, he was a person of rank. He did not expect that Yi Kington even offended Ning Luo as well. Zhuk really wanted to laugh now. You don't need to ask about other matters. Zhuk Zhuan did not intend to tell Zhuk too many things. Zhuk did not dare to ask further. While they were brothers, he was actually fearful of Zhuk Zhuan deep down. Zhuk Zhuan left after understanding the situation and planned on how to fulfill Ning Luo's orders and seek revenge for Zhuk. He was an old disciple in Xuanling sect already and was aware that stirring up troubles the way Zhuk had been doing was a foolish method. Even though Zhuk was beaten up by Yi Kington, the incident was started by him, and Yi Kington would not be punished. The only way to deal with Yi Kington was to be outside the sect. Zhuk Zhuan narrowed his eyes and immediately headed to find the outer sect warden. On the other side, Yi Kington massaged the silver wolf from head to toe and left the room happily under the wolf's stare after cheerfully preparing a large amount of food. With few hundreds of Xuanming points on hand. She would be a fool if she did not use them. The key was that Yi Kington knew how to make full use of the Xuanming points. A few disciples in the same batch as Yi Kington were still familiarizing themselves with the outer sect. After half a month, they were all more or less familiar with things around here. Most of them had heard that Yi Kington was out on a mission and had mixed emotions upon seeing Yi Kington back in the sect again. Yi Kington is back already? Do you think she completed the mission? Who knows? But I heard that she rode on the coattails of a few outer sect senior brothers to participate in the mission. Even if it was completed, she was also a freeloader. What can she not do when she is born with a good looking face? Does she still need to put in any effort herself? Wouldn't things be settled if she just used her face to butter up to the senior brothers? What's the use of being pretty? Do you think they are fools? If she did not help out, who would give her Xuanming points. That's logical. However, wasn't Yi Kington always like this? She kept cozying up to Yun Xiu previously and seduced other outer sect senior brothers now. It's disgusting to even look at it. Does she think she would succeed in the outer sect by relying on these relations? Don't care about her. Anyways, we have all been training hard in these few weeks. Even if she gets those random deals. She will have it good when she has to use her real skills. In another half a month's time, we will have entered the sect for a month already and would need to accept the appointed missions by the sect. Let's see what she is going to do then. A few new disciples were gathered to discuss some things. It was not that they had a deep enmity towards Yi Kington but rather because Yi Kington was the first to participate in a rewarded mission in their batch. Given her unique case. It was undoubted that it would attract gossips. Some people were always like that. When others did something that they were unable to do, they would always be full of slander and never reflected on themselves. Little did they know that the defamed Yi Kington from their mouths was headed towards the largest trading place, the Dragon Court. The Dragon Court was an area drawn out by the outer sect and specially provided to outer sect disciples to make deals. Any disciple could sell valuable items here. And if there was anything that one needed, he or she would only need to exchange the item using the corresponding amount of Xuanming points. Here, the most popular items were parts of demonic beasts that the disciples conveniently picked up when on missions. Other than that, there were also some elixirs made by the herbal faction's disciples. Chapter 192, Dragon Court, 1. Although it was in the afternoon. The Dragon Court was already bustling with activity. In the Dragon Court that had been independently drawn out, pieces of cloth were laid on the floor, and items to be sold were placed on them, forming a simple stall. Many disciples would come here to earn some Xuanming points. After all, Xuanming points were precious to anyone. Yi Kington entered the Dragon Court and was attracted by the bustling scene. In her previous life, she visited the Dragon Court many times as well, but then, she did not have enough Xuanming points to use in the Dragon Court as she was not powerful enough. Even if she occasionally saw things she liked, she could only walk away quietly. Then, 
The only reason she came to the Dragon Court was to sell the items she obtained when she was out on missions, and most of the disciples selling items were like her in her previous life, those like a Yankee U and Gin Huan would never sell items in the Dragon Court, but they would keep useful goods for themselves. Moreover, they had enough Xuan Ming points for their day-to-day -day spending and would never release good items for sale. Only disciples who had no way of earning Xuan Ming points would be here to sell goods. Yi Qingtong's eyes swept across her surroundings with emotions different from before. There were still quite a number of treasures in the Dragon Court. All disciples had different targets on their missions, and, thus, there were a wide variety of things they got. As long as one had good judgment, there was no problem in obtaining good things from here. Yi Kington passed by a few stalls and looked at the items displayed at the stalls. Although they were pretty good, they were not what she needed. In the entire Dragon Court, elixirs refined by the Herbal Faction disciples were the most popular. In Xuanling sect, the number of Xuanming points required for elixirs was extremely high. Just using the Xi Spirit pills that Yi Kington and the rest just received as an example, normal disciples were most probably unable to earn enough Xuanming points to exchange for two bottles of it. Other elixirs were very pricey as well, and slightly better elixirs were even more expensive. Under such circumstances, the use of the herbal faction disciples was revealed. There were a total of four factions in Xuanling sect, and the main faction was the sword faction. All the disciples needed to cultivate sword play, and not everyone could be involved in the other three factions. Approval from each faction's elder would be needed for them to step into other factions. Thus, to obtain cheaper elixirs, they could only buy them from the herbal faction disciples. On the other hand, herbal faction disciples were happy to take these elixirs that they cultivated out to sell. After all, they refined elixirs on usual days and the number of elixirs they accumulated was not a small one. However, these artisect herbal faction disciples' refinement skills were not high. It was simply impossible for elixirs made by them to have the best effects, and they could only be considered a half-completed product at best. But even such half-completed products were way better than those elixirs circulating outside the sect and thus were well received by other disciples. Yi Kington had not walked much in the Dragon Court and already saw many stalls selling elixirs. Disciples with a herbal faction badge in front of their chests had already set displaying the elixirs and were waiting for business. However, Yi Kington was not too interested in these elixirs and walked past those herbal faction disciples stalls after taking a quick glance. Right after, she saw a lonely figure kneeling at one side as he looked at the pile of junk displayed before him with a distressed look on his face. Chapter 193, Dragon Court, 2. That disciple looked to be in his early twenties. He had rather sharp features and was slightly more well built than normal disciples. But at that instant, he knelt at his stall with a melancholic expression. His large build was curled into a ball as he looked into the passing crowd sadly and helplessly. Yi Kington looked at the stall in front of that man, and her lips slightly tugged up after this look. The disciple was not selling any rare items but had some spirit crystals of varied sizes. Spirit crystal was a type of crystal which naturally stored spirit energy. Many veins occasionally produced it, and although not much was produced, it was not considered rare either. A spirit crystal was different from a spirit stone. The spirit energy in spirit stones could be absorbed and converted by humans while the spirit energy in spirit crystals was completely combined with the crystal, and there was no way one could extract it for cultivation. Furthermore, because the spirit crystal contained spirit energy, there were many cotton fiber looking crystalline shapes in the crystal body which greatly affected the lustrousness and appearance of the spirit crystal. As a result, almost no one was interested in them. Spirit crystals were unable to replace the effects of spirit stones, and their appearances were even more incomparable. It could be said that spirit crystals had a worthless existence. This type of item should not appear in the sect since, after all, Sect disciples were from renowned families and had extensive knowledge. Such useless items like spirit crystals simply would not attract the attention of any disciple, 
and there were some disciples who even laughed when they saw the spirit crystals which fool actually took this thing out it would be weird if they could be sold regardless of the number of people walking past him none of them stopped to look at his items when compared to the stall selling elixirs beside him his area was extremely empty. An herbal faction disciple who just sold two bottles of elixirs smiled as he looked at the Xuanming points on his bracelet. He turned around and spoke to a despondent looking disciple. Tong Hu, I told you long ago that no one wants these spirit crystals. Instead of sitting here foolishly, why not take on some missions to earn some Xuanming points? After all, you're a fist faction disciple and selling spirit crystals is still too. The herbal faction disciple appeared to be well-meaning, but the sarcasm in his eyes revealed his real intentions. Tong Hu looked at him and gave a bitter laugh without saying anything. This herbal faction disciple and he entered the outer sect at the same time. He had a good physique, and his natural endowments were considered not bad in his batch. Rather, it was that herbal faction disciple who had an average natural endowment. However, it was different years later. Tong Hu did not put that herbal faction disciples mockery to heart and only looked after his stall silently, waiting for that slim chance. This scene fell into Yi King Tung's eyes, and the herbal faction disciples mockery still lingered around her ears. The corner of her lips tugged upwards slightly as she walked towards Tong Hu's stall. How do you sell this spirit crystal? A clear female voice suddenly traveled into his ears and the depressed Tong who looked up in surprise, only to be completely taken aback there and then, against the sunlight, the young girl was so beautiful as though she was not a mortal on earth, while her smile seemed to be able to intoxicate someone. Chapter 194, Dragon Court, 3 Tong who was rather besotted from looking for a moment, and only after that girl waved her hands smilingly in front of his eyes did he finally return to his senses. He instinctively shivered as a blush crept onto his chiseled face. How could there be such a good looking junior sister? Do do you want to buy spirit crystals? Tong who had a rigid nature, and because he was tall and well built on top of the fact that his strong facial features made him look fierce. There were rarely any female disciples who interacted with him. Now that he met such a pretty junior sister, he could not help but be tongue-tied. The herbal faction disciple nearby saw that shockingly beautiful girl as well, and his eyes glowed. Before waiting for Tong Hu to say anything, he immediately opened his mouth. This junior sister, spirit crystals are not spirit stones. Even if you buy it back, there will be no use for it. Don't get cheated, he said without caring that Tong Hu was right there. Yi Kington looked at the both of them with a smile and understood more or less. This senior brother, Tong Hu, had such a poor business partly due to the help from this herbal faction disciple, didn't he? Tong Hu's expression turned a little ugly after the herbal faction disciple said those words in his face. He was about to say something, but the herbal faction disciple spoke before him again. Tong Hu, this little junior sister seems to be quite young. You must not cheat her because of her young age. Then, Tong Hu was really furious that his face flushed. When had he cheated anyone? He could not even say anything and was already called a cheater by this herbal faction disciple. He was enraged. The herbal faction disciple looked at Tong Hu's red face in delight and was not at all bothered. Disciples were not allowed to fight amongst themselves in the sect and he was certain that Tong Hu would definitely not act recklessly. Moreover he was sure from the start that while Tong Hu appeared rather fierce on the outside, he was a very honest man. The herbal faction disciples words were to, firstly, embarrass Tong Hu and, secondly, establish some relations with this beautiful junior sister. However, senior brother Tong, is it? You haven't said how you're going to sell these spirit crystals. Yi King Tung said to Tong Hu with a flower-like smile without bothering with the herbal faction's provocation. The fury in Tong Hu was extinguished by that crisp-sounding senior brother Tong. He, who was not good at conversing with people of the opposite sex, looked at Yi King Tung before him and panicked a little. This spirit crystal is sold at one Xuanming point for one crystal. If if you like them, Two Xuanming points for three crystals is fine as well Tong who said this one sentence with many stumbles, and his voice became softer as he spoke on. One Xuanming point was really a low price. While this spirit crystal was useless, it was worth more than this price. According to normal calculations, 
it should be 2 to 3 Xuanming points for one crystal no matter what. The price that Tong Hu set surprised Yi King Tung slightly. The herbal faction disciple saw that Yi King Tung did not reply immediately and mocked. Tong Hu, this spirit crystal is simply a useless piece of rubbish. Isn't it too big of a ripoff to sell it for one Xuanming point? Tong Hu hurriedly waved his hands as though Tong Hu was afraid that Yi King Tung believed the other party's words and misunderstood him. I, I am not tripping off from her. However, Yi Kington replied with a grin. How many spirit crystals does senior brother Tong have? Tong who was a little confused as to what this junior sister asked it for but still said honestly, about 70 to 80 plus, chapter 195, Dragon Court. 4. Yi Kington calculated mentally and immediately smiled. I want all of them. Right after Yi Kington spoke, Tong Hu was dumbfounded, and even the herbal faction disciple who had been mocking Tong Hu felt his jaw drop from the shock. She wants all 70 to 80 of them. Is this little junior sister crazy? Tong Hu was stunned for quite a while and suspected whether he heard wrongly. He could not help but confirm again. Little little junior sister. How many did you say you wanted? Yi King Tung's smile remained as she said, all. Tong Hu was really shocked. He got these spirit crystals half a year ago, and after selling for a whole six months, he only sold two or three pieces. Never would he dream that someone would actually buy all of his spirit crystals at one go, and it was someone who seemed to be a newly entered disciple. Are, are you sure? But these spirit crystals really do not have many uses. Tong who hoped to quickly get rid of these hot potatoes, but when he saw this pretty junior sister bravely saying that she wanted to buy all the spirit crystals, Tong who did not dare to sell them instead. He was afraid he would really rip off this little junior sister. If you really like it, I'll just gift you two of them then. It is better if you don't buy them Tong Hu said as he scratched his head. Yi Kington was tickled by Tong Hu's frank response. This senior brother was really an honest man. Senior brother, I am not joking with you. I want all of the spirit crystals. Let's just go with the price you said just now, one Xuanming point for two crystals. Yi Kington said generously, from a side. The expression which the herbal faction disciple used to look at Yi Kington was as though he was looking at a lunatic. Why was it that this junior sister was born with such a pretty face but did not have any brains? Even if the price was one Xuanming point for two spirit crystals, she would still need 30 to 40 Xuanming points, and spending this amount on two bottles of Xi spirit pills was more worth it. Tong Hu did not know what to do with Yi Kington's stubbornness and was troubled over it but suddenly saw a familiar person walking in his direction. He hurriedly stood up and shouted, Junior Brother Kin, here. Kin Huan, who was strolling leisurely in the dragon court, suddenly heard a shout, and when he looked over, he saw a tall and muscular Tong Hu waving at him frantically. Senior Brother Tong, what happened to you? Gin Huan walked over brightly and could not help but laugh when he took a look at Tong Hu's stall. Senior brother Kin, you haven't sold this batch of spirit crystals which you got cheated to accept that time? I think it is better to find a fool quickly and sell them off cheaply. Junior brother Kin, stop talking already. Help me here. This person wants to buy all of my spirit crystals at one go. Hurry, persuade her not to do it. Tong Hu knew that he was not good at talking to people of the opposite sex, so he might as well pull Kin Huan, who was good at flirting with girls, to help him out. Upon hearing Tong Hu, Kin Huan could not help but laugh as he turned to look at the person who Tong Hu spoke about. There is really a fool who wants to buy these rotten rotten. The moment Kin Huan turned around, he was met with a pair of smiling eyes and his words were immediately stuck in his throat before he finished his sentence. Yi King Tung folded her arms and looked at Kin Huan with a beam as a dangerous glint emerged in her eyes. She said casually, so I'm actually a fool in senior brother Kin's eyes. Chapter 196, Speculation, 1. Kin Huan's lips twitched as he looked at Yi King Tung, and his head was about to explode. Shit, Tong Hu this scoundrel screwed him. So it's junior sister Yi. Ha ha. What a coincidence Kin Huan said as he broke out in a cold sweat. How he wished he could hang Tong Hu, who called him over, on a tree and hammer him. Yi King Tung raised a brow slightly and swept a meaningful look at Kin Huan. Kin Huan only felt a gush of cold air behind his back. 
and the smile on his face broke into pieces. Tong Hu looked strangely at the frozen Kin Huan and had not sensed that Kin Huan became strange suddenly as he asked curiously, Junior brother Kin, do you know this little junior sister? Kin Huan put on a smile that was uglier than a cry and nodded tragically. She is, junior sister Yi, why would I not know her? Was it too late for him to leave now? Tong Hu nodded slowly and did not notice Kin Huan's expression which read I want to die right now and said uprightly, that's good then. Kin Huan, help me persuade this junior sister. There is not much use if she buys these spirit crystals back. If she likes them, it's fine for me to gift some to her. These Xuanming points cannot be anyhow spent, especially new disciples. Tong Hu persuaded earnestly. If not for the fact that Kin Huan could not defeat Tong Hu, he really wanted to box this fool to death. New disciples Xuanming points could not be anyhow spent. That applied to others but not Yi Kingtong who was a tycoon. He personally witnessed Yi Kington cheerfully taking the head of a villain on the assassination roll to claim her reward after receiving over 60 Xuanming points from the giant lizard mission. Kin Huan really wanted to tell Tong Hu that he was worried for the wrong person and that the number of Xuanming points in Yi Kington's hands was more than both of theirs added together. However, a wise man would submit to the circumstances. Kin Huan simply did not bother about Tong Hu's persuasion and looked straight at Yi Kington. Junior sister Yi likes this spirit crystal? You should have said earlier. I have known senior brother Tong for a long time, and I can let him sell them at a cheaper price. I see that there's quite a number of spirit crystals. How about I help you to carry them back? Kin Huan smiled in an extremely suck up manner. After personally witnessing Yi Kington's powers, he did not dare to offend such a fierce junior sister. Furthermore, Yi Kington's fire resistant soft armor even saved his life. Who knew how many more treasures this little junior sister had? He really had to sweet talk her and offer his assistance the best he could. Tong Hu was dumbfounded. He clearly got Kin Huan over to persuade Yi Kington. Why did he suddenly betray him? Yi Kington chuckled at the suck up Kin Huan and said, Senior brother Kin's price is very low already and it doesn't need to be lowered further. However, if senior brother Kin is free, I can approve your request to help me move my things. Tong Hu already said previously that if Yi Kington wanted, he could sell two spirit crystals at one Xuanming point. This price was already shockingly low, and Yi Kington was not the type to squeeze money out of others. No matter what, she would not go overboard. No problem, leave it to me. Kin Huan did not care that his manly image was broken at that very point. His suck-up behavior completely confused Tong Hu. Senior brother Tong, pack the spirit crystals. I'll carry them back for junior sister Yi, Kin Huan said. Tong Hu was really on the verge of tears. Why did the help that he found turn to help Yi Kington in urging him instead? Chapter 197, Speculation, 2. With the betrayal of his ally. Tong Hu could only pack the spirit crystals with a sad face. Just by seeing his expression, those who did not know would think that he was robbed. Yi Kington nimbly transferred the corresponding 30 plus Xuanming points to Tong Hu. While Tong Hu got rid of these burning potatoes, he felt extremely guilty towards Yi Kington who got ripped off. Junior, Junior Sister Yi, if there's anything you need help with in the future, just go ahead and ask me. Thank you so much for today. Tong Hu said to Yi Kington earnestly. Yi Kington kept feeling as though she was taken advantage of, but the person who was taken advantage of was clearly Tong Hu. If one was overly honest and good natured, others would feel quite helpless as well. Tong Hu stammered a while more to Yi Kington and then finally packed up his items and returned to the Fist faction for practice. On the other hand, Kin Huan, who was called over halfway, had no choice but to pay a price for his big mouth. Carrying 70 to 80 plus spirit crystals, Kin Huan grinned at Yi Kington and said, Junior sister Yi, are you returning now? Yi Kington turned around and walked out of the dragon court without forgetting to signal Kin Huan behind her with a finger. Kin Huan followed up quickly. Junior sister Yi, what are you buying so many spirit crystals for? Kin Huan asked carefully deeply afraid that what he said previously had offended Yi Kington. The Yankee who was still waiting for Yi Kington to form a team with them to go on missions, and if Yi Kington complained to the Yankee who, 
Kin Huan predicted that the Yankee would kick him out of the team in order to protect Yi Kington. Yi Kington replied, obviously because there's a use. Kin Huan remained silent. You have many Xuanming points, so you can spend lavishly. Yi Kington thought of something and asked, senior brother Kin. Do you know who else has spirit crystals? Kin Huan was dumbfounded. She bought so many already, but it still was not enough. She still wants to buy more spirit crystals. Is she crazy? However, he was not bold enough to say this in Yi Kington's face. I'm afraid there isn't really anyone who has them. Spirit crystals are rare and not easy to find usually. Although veins produce them, it is extremely rare. Furthermore, no one required them, and, thus, this item was even rarer. Those that Tong Hu had were ones that he was being cheated to accept. Otherwise, no one would have so many spirit crystals for no reason. One must know that it was already amazing when a vein produced at most one or two crystals. Gin Huan mumbled, cheated. Yi Qingtong stopped in her tracks. She knew how useless spirit crystals were to humans as well and thus was extremely happy when she saw them in Tong Hu's hands. Currently, no one knew the importance of spirit crystals yet, but in a few months later, a divine weapon would appear on earth. That divine weapon was owned by a mighty figure, and its appearance caused a commotion. As rumors of the divine weapon's sharpness circulated, its origins were gradually dug out by people. That was a weapon with spirit crystals embedded in it and was forged by a blacksmith who hid away from the world for many years. The spirit energy in spirit crystals could not be absorbed by people, thus, humans saw them as useless items. However, that blacksmith discovered another use for the spirit crystals, to forge divine weapons. With the craft of a blacksmith, embedding spirit crystals into a weapon could increase the weapon's strength by a large extent. Once this news was spread, it could be said that the whole world was shaken as suddenly, spirit crystals, which no one asked about before, suddenly became a popular treasure. All family clans and powerful groups went to great lengths to search for spirit crystals and invited famous blacksmiths to forge the weapons. Chapter 198, Sect Mission, 2. I did ask around about it previously Yunxiu obviously paid attention to the sect mission matters previously. A month after the new disciples entered the sect, they would have to take on their first sect mission. These kind of missions for the new disciple were relatively easy and were basically completed in groups. Just as Yunxiu and Yi Kington were talking, Su Wan, who was standing a few steps away from Yunxiu, had a dark expression. She glared right at the both of them, and a deathly cold air seemed to be hidden in her seemingly gentle eyes. Su Wan originally wanted to use the opportunity to become closer to Yun Xiu, but she did not expect that before she walked to Yun Xiu's side, Yi Kington would already be talking to Yun Xiu. Looking at their intimate behavior, Su Wan's heart was as though it was chopped into pieces by a knife. Senior brother Yun's eyes were glued on Yi Kington. Su Wan was clearly standing behind senior brother Yun, but he did not even realize she was here. On what basis? Su Wan quietly clenched her fist tightly and looked at Yi Kington's exquisite side profile, wishing that she could slash Yi Kington's face with a knife. She clearly tried all sorts of means for Yan Xiu and Yi Kington to not interact with each other in this period of time. She clearly told Yan Xiu many bad things about Yi Kington, and she never even mentioned to Yi Kington that Yan Xiu wanted her to find him. But why was Yan Xiu acting as if nothing happened? Hatred and resentment filled Su Wan's eyes. And it was at this instant when the teaching warden assigned the missions to the disciples. This is your first time accepting a sect mission. To ensure that you all can complete it successfully, I will appoint the more skilled people as the mission's team leader. Then, the warden looked at the files in his hands and called out a few names. Yan Xiu and Lu Xiuin were the most skilled amongst the new disciples and were obviously in the list of names called out. Apart from the two of them, the warden called out another four people and handed down the missions that they had to take on. After looking at the mission, these disciples could freely choose the other members to embark on the mission with. These six people were the most skilled amongst their batch of new disciples and the difference between the disciples' skills could be seen from here. The six people who were called out took a step forward and stood within everyone's line of sight. Junior Sister Su, Senior Brother Yun is also a leader for a mission. I think he will definitely choose you. Liu Yue, 
who was standing beside Su Wan, looked at the glorious Yan Xiu as she beamed at Su Wan, who wore a gloomy expression. Su Wan returned to her senses and quickly hid away the resentment in her eyes as she smiled gently. Who knows who senior brother Yan will choose? Just now, junior sister Yi was talking to senior brother Yan, and perhaps, she had already told him about this. After hearing, Liu Yui looked at Yi Kington with a face of disdain. What a vixen. I heard that after she returned from the rewarded mission the other time, she did not interact much with senior brother Yun. Yet now, she is acting chummy with him. Isn't it all because she knows that she must take on a sect mission already and wants to cozy up to senior brother Yun? Junior sister Su, you have been on such good terms with senior brother Yun recently, and Yi Kington cannot compete against this. There are so many rumors in the outer sect about you and senior brother Yun now. I can see that senior brother Yun treats you pretty well, and he will definitely not be bewitched by that vixen Yi Kington. Su Wan could not help but smile shyly when she heard that. Indeed, many disciples were talking about the relationship between her and Yun Xiu in this half a month. Chapter 199, Sect Mission, 3. Both Su Wan and Yi Kington were close to Yun Xiu but there was a huge difference between them. While Su Wan was also a new disciple, she was far above Yi Kington, regardless of her family background or the grade of her spirit root. Although Yi Kington was superior in terms of appearance, the feeling that they gave people were completely different. In the eyes of others, there was nothing good about Yi Kington other than her face and they felt that her relationship with Yan Xiu was all Yi Kintang's one-sided wishful thinking, rather, they felt that Su Wan was more compatible with Yan Xiu. Liu Yu uttered words of support for Su Wan as she made a plan for herself as well. Yan Xiu's skills were good, and if she could work on a mission together with Yan Xiu using Su Wan's relationship with him, Liu Yu believed that her score in the mission would be higher. Senior sister Liu, these are merely our guesses. It is still up to senior brother Yun to choose, Su Wan said gently. According to the rules, Yun Xiu and the others were to pick their team members in order of the rank of their spirit roots. Brother Yun, which candidate do you have in mind this time? Liu Xiuin asked Yun Xiu while raising a brow. Yun Xiu gave a faint smile. It is all our first time participating in a sect mission. I am not very certain as well. Liu Xiuin laughed. Brother Yun. You're too humble. Didn't you take extra care of Junior Sister Yi previously? Though I rarely see you and Junior Sister Yi interacting after entering the sect. Not many people knew that Yi Kington took on a rewarded mission. Among the new disciples, only Su Wan and Yun Xiu knew, but they did not tell anyone else about it. Furthermore, the new disciples were too busy familiarizing themselves with matters in the outer sect over the past half a month and never noticed Yi Kington's disappearance. The only thing that everyone knew was that Yun Xiu did not really interact with Yi Kington in this month and that the person who was always by his side was Su Wan instead. Thus, many snickered that Yi Kington did not manage to cozy up to Yun Xiu. Yun Xiu obviously understood the meaning behind Luke Xiu In's words and frowned slightly. You can start selecting your team members already, the warden said. Yan Xiu looked away and towards the new disciples. If there were no accidents, senior and junior brothers with yellow spirit roots would be the first to be selected. Yan Xiu was still thinking of who to pick but saw Su Wan looking at him expectantly. As he thought of how Su Wan cared for him in these few days, Yan Xiu who had a kind heart could not bear to reject her. Junior sister Su, Yan Xiu slowly announced the name of his first teammate. As Yan Xiu spoke, Su Wan could not help but smile. Under everyone's gaze, she slowly walked up while looking at Yi Kington from the corner of her eye with a sarcastic expression. Yi Kington, no matter how good you are, the inferiority of your spirit root will not be changed. Su Wan went forward and stood behind Yan Xiu and this started discussions among many people. Everyone knew that Yun Xiu only had many interactions with Yi Kington and Su Wan in the outer sect. Moreover, many noticed Su Wan's affection for Yun Xiu. Now that Yun Xiu chose Su Wan as his team member, wouldn't Yi Kington be abandoned then? In a moment, everyone looked at the leisurely Yi Kington with a nosy expression. If a useless red spirit root did not have Yun Xiu's protection, which group would want her? Yi Kington stood calmly and did not take any of those bad meaning gazes around her to heart. This type of mission for new disciples was of no difficulty to her regardless of which group she joined and, thus, she saw no point in worrying. 
Chapter 200, Using Official Regulations as Pretext to Seek Revenge, 1. As the disciples were being called up one by one, the teammates behind Yun Xiu and the others were gradually fixed. At last, only Yi Kington was left. Yun Xiu also specifically left a spot where he planned to invite Yi Kington to join at the end. However, just when Yun Xiu was about to open his mouth, the warden suddenly looked at Yi Kington and said, Yi Kington, there are other arrangements for your sect mission. The warden's words instantly caused a commotion. Yun Xiu, who was about to say something, was stunned as well while Su Wan could not help but break out into an arrogant smile. She could see that Yun Xiu wanted to invite Yi Kington, but the warden did not even plan to place Yi Kington in this mission. Thinking about it, it was true as well. With such an inferior spirit route, which team would she not be a burden in? Yi Kington raised a brow slightly. She did not expect that there would be such a thing. Just as everyone was curious as to what other arrangements Yi Kington had, the warden waved a hand at an area not far away. Then, a tall and good-looking young disciple slowly walked out and appeared in front of everyone. Once everyone saw that disciple's face, they were all astonished. His face actually looked a little similar to Zaku, the person who set up an arena to cheat them. Yi King Tung, you will do your sect mission with Zigzuan over here. Zigzuan will personally tell you about the mission contents later, the warden said without expression. Zigzuan walked forward, and his lips formed into a smile as he looked at the beautiful girl before him. Junior sister Yi, it's our first meeting. Please take care of me. Zigzuan's appearance left many new disciples dumbfounded. What is going on? Yi Kington's first sect mission is actually with an old disciple. It should be known that the first sect mission was relatively easier, but missions that Zigzuan, an old disciple, took on had many hidden dangers. Surprise flashed across Su Wan's eyes as well, but once she saw Zigzuan's face, an evil thought appeared in her mind. Zigzuan, Zigzuan, these two people's faces were so similar, could it be that? The surprise in her eyes instantly turned into a gloat. Everyone still remembered how Yi Kington beat Zigzuan up on the arena the other time. Yi Kington raised her brows slightly as she looked at Zigzuan before her. She sneered in her heart. Isn't this Zigzuan the older brother of Zigzuan? She was initially curious as to why her mission was suddenly changed but did not think that someone was actually behind all of this. Looking at the devious looking Zigzuan, Yi Kington already guessed that Zigzuan most likely bribed the warden in secret, which caused things to become the way they were right now. Senior brother Zu, that's too polite of you, Yi Kington said calmly with a faint smile. Zigzuan sized up Yi Kington with a scoff in his heart. Exactly like what Yi Kington guessed, he already knew long ago that the new disciples would take on sect missions after entering the sect for a month. Yi Kington's teaching warden once taught Zigzuan as well, and, thus, Zigzuan used this opportunity to change Yi Kington's mission. Disciples were forbidden from fighting amongst themselves in the sect. But if they left the sect, things would be different. If there were some injuries sustained in the mission, would they not be considered natural? 